Hey, food, Padma Lakshmi, host of and judge, by the way, on Bravo's <laughs> Top Chef, is with us now ahead of tomorrow's season finale. Padma, nice to see you. Good morning. Nice to see you. Good morning. It's a good year. You're down to the the, the final the two, last right? Two. It is. It was a great season. I love Charleston, and I never spend any time there. But the people are really friendly, and it was a wonderful city. And they like their food. They we should do, say that. and they have great seafood. And today we're going to make some Carolyn ca crab cakes. They're just spiced crab cakes. Uh, and Carolyn, that's a region in or, South a, or a state India. in southern India. That's you, so this right. is all about your heritage yeah. here. Well, well, it's about the heritage of Charleston because they have such amazing seafood. And I feel like in this season of Top Chef, I'm going to start adding these ingredients. You know, there wasn't one episode where somebody didn't use crab. So I'm using crab, making regular crab cakes, which is pretty a couple of extra ingredients so you can see all the ingredients there there's some you know carrot corn chives where you're getting the heat here is from the chopped serrano chilies you're gonna mix all this up okay here is some uh, shredded coconut now this don't be afraid of the coconut it's unsweetened you can find it at any grocery store in the freezer section or in the baking section make sure it's unsweetened how do you keep this together good question we're gonna add I want you to keep mixing that for me this? with that yeah okay. so you want to uh, put some mayonnaise here's a couple of eggs for about a pound of crab um, you also just want to add a little bit of milk if you need it um, probably about a quarter cup or half cup you want to mix this all up a little pinch of salt and the other seasoning we're using is green mango powder or amchur. That's going to give it a fruity tang. You want to refrigerate it for half an hour. Why is that so important? Because it helps it stay together. You know, it's hard to keep um, crab cakes together. And that's why you're adding all that egg and stuff. And you basically want to take an ice cream scoop. I'm going to have you do one, too. Okay. And you're going to flatten this. Again, you do this after you've chilled it. And you can even make these patties ahead so that when you're cooking the crab cakes, they're all ready to go. But also, like with a hamburger, you don't want to compress these too much too and much. make them too dense. Right, and then you just want to dredge them in um, some breadcrumbs. That's so that you get that extra crispy crust. Now, another tip I have is that you want to use two spatulas so that you don't splatter the oil. So you're just going to lay these. We're using canola it's a great oil. Idea. And um, you can also test and see if the oil is hot enough by just dropping a little kernel of corn. And if that sizzles like the crab cakes will, you know you're, you're ready. That'll take about five or six minutes, not more. And here's our dipping sauce. It's a really easy dipping sauce. It's made with mint. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. Some mint, lemon juice, salt, pepper, salt, sugar, and, and chili peppers. Let me just mention we've got our guys. Whoa! Be that careful. little Sorry. corn kernel. We have popcorn. That's a corn kernel. Perfect. I'm going to turn this We've got down. our guys downstairs that. testing what this. What uh, happened? The, the little kernel of corn she dropped in there. I mean, it's right. just became <laughs> popcorn. Sorry. It's all right. That's there why it's go. so crispy, though. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not sure what's happening. Just shop right at home. But, okay. Um, this is it is, good? Yeah. It's very good. This is just salt and sugar. Nice and that's it. And this is your mint chutney. <laughs> this is going to be um, ready to do, um, ready to use for any, any fried food. So you can add a little water, it'll whiz up. When it does, it looks like this. Can I just taste it plain? Please do. It's very spicy and it's very easy. It's great if you want to whisk it into mayonnaise. And really um, I'm going to let you taste this and I'm going to put some sauce right here for you. All right, let me get a fork. You know, the good news is the beard hides the burns. I know. I'm so, so it's sorry. Right. It's okay. I think, you know what? We were afraid that the oil wouldn't get hot enough, no, and we probably got it a it. little too hot. And that's a good point. You want to cook it on a medium to medium low heat, and you want to regulate your heat. So always know to do that. I love the combination of the flavor of the crab and the spice that you put on them. They're fantastic. Thank really you. You good. can find the recipe on today.com. All right. We're going to put that online. And also, don't forget to catch the season finale of Top Chef. That's tomorrow night on our sister network, Bravo. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.